All right, we're gonna keep this short and sweet. Um, we're three weeks out from nationals, and uh, we're just gonna check in really quick. We're gonna see where we are. Um, I just weighed in at 217, so something weird's going on. I am actually um, 12 pounds heavier than I was three weeks out from BC's. I rebounded pretty good after my show. I put on some good size, but I also feel like I'm a little bloated still. Um, I was hitting the legs really hard. Um, I had a, probably three or four like really good leg workouts right after BC's. I wasn't planning on doing nationals, so um, I was taking an opportunity to like bring my legs back, and um, I think they really rebounded. So I, I feel like I'm holding some weight in my legs, probably like five pounds or so. They they come back quick for me. That's why I go by the quad father. I've had like 28 inch uh, quads before, so they uh, they hold a lot of meat and. Um, that could be where the weight is. It could also just be uh, I'm fatter. But um, we're just gonna go ahead and check that skin fold. I think um, I watched my video back from three weeks over BC's last week, and I was getting four and a half and five millimeter readings. I had a decent diet week this week. Um, yeah, I didn't. I haven't. I still haven't done a cheat meal yet. I probably won't. I'm probably gonna go all the way to the show without doing any kind of a cheat meal. I don't think I'm gonna get as lean as I want to get. So um, we're gonna hold off. And I'm actually going to try and do a low carb day today and tomorrow. And um, I know it's going to be really hard. Low carb days suck. But um, if I can keep that going, it would actually be nice to do like a low carb week. Um, but we'll see. That's, that's easier said than done. And these work five mils, five mils, five mils, five mils, five mils. It's like. Where are we? We got over here. Yeah, it's just in our little squeeze. It squeezed pretty hard, so it, it was a five, and then it just got a little tighter, but um, that was four and a half. But uh, yeah, so we're at five mils. We are three weeks out from nationals. I think if we uh, keep the diet tight for the next three weeks and uh, we stay away from those cheat meals, we're gonna uh, we're gonna bring it in pretty tight and. Um, Hopefully rock that stage. Like I said, uh, today's a low carb day. We're gonna go train um, shoulders, I believe. We plan to train and then uh, stay out of the kitchen, stay away from the uh, the rice and the potatoes and the bread, and uh, we'll mostly be eating greens and um, protein from chicken today. And I'll probably have a couple shakes or whatever. And um, yeah, hopefully by next week it'd be nice to get down to like a four and a four and a half or a four mil next week. That's a a lot to try to take on. I haven't been doing cardio every evening. I've been slacking. We're in the middle of a heat wave here in Vancouver. It's been like over thirty degrees almost every day. It's been hot pretty much all spring so far, and we're not used to that up here. So for me, um, I'm the kind of guy who enjoys cool weather. I have fast metabolism and. Um, in this warmer weather, when I uh, finish my cardio or an ex or exercising, whatever lifting, um, I hate I hate leaving the gym and just having all my clothes sticking to me. You dry off from your post workout shower and you're already wet when you start putting your clothes on. I hate that. And, you know, by the time you get to your car, you already your back is soaked and your underwear is wet. It's just like the worst thing ever. I hate it. So um, I'm resilient or resistant to going and doing my evening cardio just because. The temperature's finally dropping and I'm at home and I'm cooling off, sitting in front of the air conditioner and uh, yeah, going and doing cardio, it's just, it's been tough, so um, I wanted to be under 5 mils this week and I'm right at 5 mils, so I'm probably not where I want to be three weeks out from nationals, I want to be tighter than I was BC, so looks like we're going to be doing cardio this week and it's supposed to be like 35 degrees, for, for us that's hot, it's humid here in Vancouver. 35 degrees is, I don't know, what, just under 100 Fahrenheit. So, um, yeah, we don't have central air heating with air conditioning in our homes. Um, a lot of businesses, a lot of gyms don't even have AC. So there's some people out there that have a lot worse than I. Gold's Gym has good AC and they got a nice cold pool to jump in when you're done. But um, we're going to do this. We're going to handle this and uh, bring it our best. I'm looking forward to getting on that plane and heading over to Halifax and rocking that national stage. It's going to be a big first for me, and um, this is kind of like the crunch time. A lot of guys lose it. 
a few weeks out and uh, they try to coast or whatever they think they'll be ready and then they, they miss their opportunity. Right now is my opportunity. I'm three weeks out from nationals and uh, I don't want to take it for granted. It's a uh, once in a lifetime experience. I may never do it again. I may not have the opportunity to do it again. You never know. So um, I should put the work in now and uh, suck it up. And in three weeks, I can be back on the beach eating chips and drinking pop, whatever. So it's go time. We're going to give it our best. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace out. And we'll see you guys next time.